The circuit is a basic amplitude modulation, or AM, circuit using an NPN transistor, model BC107, as the modulator. A 5-volt DC supply, labeled B1, powers the circuit with capacitors C and C2, and an inductor, labeled L, providing power rail filtering. The transistor is configured in a common emitter amplifier setup. Biasing is achieved through a voltage divider using resistor R1 with a value of 4.7 kilo ohms and resistor R2 with a value of 2.7 kilo ohms at the base and resistor RE with a value of 220 ohms stabilizes the emitter. The message signal labeled VM of 0.5 volts at 1 kilohertz is AC coupled via capacitor C1 into the transistor's base while the carrier signal, labeled VC, of 0.5 volts at 10 kHz, is injected at the collector through capacitor C3, which also acts as the output coupling capacitor. The low-value resistor R3, with a value of 0.5 ohms, and inductor L between the power rail and collector helps shape the output waveform and may also serve for current sensing or impedance matching. This configuration modulates the amplitude of the carrier based on the input message signal. To prove that this circuit is producing AM signal, we will show the output signal waveform and the frequency spectrum. This is message signal, this is carrier signal, and this is the output AM signal waveforms. Now let's see the frequency spectrum of the output signal. As you can see, this is the spectrum of a DSBAM signal with a high peak at the 10 kHz carrier frequency and two sidebands at 9 and 11 kHz.